Hello Drupinlings, I'm Michael and in this video course we're going to learn the basics on how to get started with Drupin Cloud. If you like learning by doing, then this introductory video should suffice to get the ball rolling. But there's a dedicated video on each step of the process if you'd like to get more into detail. Keep in mind that with an all-in-one system, you don't just have all the features in one handy place, but you also have the opportunity to use them together. This creates synergies that you wouldn't normally be able to use, and that you maybe wouldn't have thought of unless you check out this course. Anyway, first create a pipeline. Even if tracking isn't the reason you're here, trust me, it'll save you a ton of time. Second, import some contacts. Either source by clicking on the Drupin extension, or import a pre-existing database. Lastly, select and interact with them. And this is where the doors open. Drupin isn't just a one-trick pony, so there's a lot of different things you can do here. But just to continue keeping things simple, aside from the filters, which you can use to auto-screen, rank, and score your contacts, which we'll go into further detail on later, all the different interactions at your disposal are listed here on the hotbar at the bottom of the screen. These buttons will probably change since we're always adding more and more features to the system, but what's important to know is that whichever option you choose here will be applied to everyone you currently have selected, which is also why the bar only appears once you select someone. You can draw selections in multiple different ways, and you can see how many you currently have selected and the total from here at the top left. And if you want to keep track of what you're doing, don't forget to assign the contacts a tag or add them to a stage in your pipeline. There's also a handy auto-compiling event timeline here at the bottom right. And like this, you'll always know how your workflow is proceeding.